Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 20 Ultimate Team game. It's time for CJ2K, one of the fastest players to ever play in the NFL. Everybody knows about that 40 time, everybody knows about that get away from the cop speed, and it is definitely reflected in Chris Johnson's stats. He's the fastest running back in Mutt with 94 speed, along with 94 acceleration. We put a basive on him as a superstar ability, so Chris Johnson will be breaking ankles. We're breaking hearts because my opponent wants to go into the cookie jar. We're not going to let him do that. We'll near with the interception and on top of all that we put the x factor ability of first one free on chris johnson today that is what we will be trying to achieve today get chris johnson in the zone and we start off with a nice counter run and chris johnson already adding one to the counter and a touchdown to his stats as well chris johnson said a 10 yard run that's too easy. How about 20 and a touchdown on my first touch? And that is what Chris Johnson brings to the table. He can pound out a couple of decent runs and decent runs, but you give him any sort of decent blocking and he's gone, right? That's, you know, Chris Johnson's got that home run speed as we get the interception. The defense is playing magical right now. A little bit too much magic for my opponent to handle, so he ends up quitting. So, uh, see you later, bud. Along with all the accolades that Chris Johnson has from his time in the NFL, he also has the single season record still for most scrimmage yards in an NFL season. And, of course, that record is in jeopardy this season because of what Christian McCaffrey is doing. But for now, that is Chris Johnson's record, so... You know, we could get him involved in the passing game as well. A screen pass or something like that. And, you know, let him work his magic. Just give him some blocks and he'll do his thing. Of course, Eric Dickerson is also a man who ran for over 2,000 yards in an NFL season before because of powerful runs like this. Maybe not powerful runs like this. EA might have exaggerated how good Eric Dickerson was, but he was a bad man back in his day as Saquon spelling Eric Dickerson going absolutely nowhere. It's going to be a screen pass to Saquon Barkley getting some blocks, a first down. How about a touchdown for Saquon? He just gets in some fantastic blocking up front as our Saquon Barkley catching this muff kickoff. Hopefully this is not a safety and thankfully it's just going to be a touchback. So since we put home run Chris Johnson we actually only need four rushes of over 10 yards to get this first one free activated I literally only put that x factor or that superstar ability on to make my life easier to get this uh the x-factor activated i don't know if homer is actually the move to be putting on these players but you'll notice that i do it a lot in these videos especially for a running back a receiver even quarterback sometimes to help make the process a bit easier especially when we struggle like this three rushes to start the drive off and no success not even a first down so fourth down and five we need peyton manning to answer the bell and that he does randy moss not only gets the five gets about 11 more after that as joey bosa off the edge getting the sack i want to try to pass the ball a little bit to try to soften up this defense but unfortunately Joey Bosa wasn't having any of that of course when you're using Chris Johnson you want to have like a lot of pitch runs and stretch runs to try to get Chris Johnson outside but the speed of Joey Bosa is what is dominating this game right now fourth down 24 we're just gonna run the ball with Chris Johnson why not not a care in the world and Chris Johnson racing upfield and nearly getting the first down it will be a turnover on downs but it does definitely add one to the X-Factor counter. That's kind of what I was going for, but we nearly got that first down. That's exactly what I'm saying, man. Just give Chris Johnson any sort of blocking and watch him fly as third down and four. Give Eric Dickerson the X-Factor to start the game off with and watch him absolutely bully your defense. You just got to try to engage a and hope you can knock the man out the zone we couldn't quite do it there but this is gonna be intercepted dick lane's got the ball and he's riding the night train all the way to the end zone eric dickerson may still be in the zone but we have the game tied thanks to my opponent putting his hands in the cookie jar andrew luck looking for some redemption downfield tory holt breaking away and the game will be tied no more tory holt said i hope you enjoyed the game being seven to seven for about two seconds let me grab that lead right back and let's get chris johnson back in the field right back fine by me man you want to get a one play touchdown that means we don't got to play defense we can get chris johnson on the field oh man i just needed that block to set up we're gonna run the same play here just man i, I want you guys to pick up some blocks up field i see 65 guarding nobody out there or picking up no one like just set it up 
Let Chris Johnson just break it away, and we'll get this X Factor in no time. We go to the pitch right here, trying to be patient, and that's the thing about Chris Johnson, man. You can be patient with him in this game because you know once you hit that acceleration button, you know, he's going to fly upfield. He's not going to be caught from behind. It's all about, you know, all the smoke and mirrors ahead of him as Chris Johnson juking away. First down and a lot more back inside. Chris Johnson to the 18-yard line, and now he's starting to pile up a couple of good runs. Halfway there, the first one free. Chris actually is the same. Saquon Barkley outside, so a not-so-magical run actually loses to maybe three yards back to the counter run to Chris Johnson, who has pick-and-pull guru, but, um, yeah, that's not really working out too well for us. I don't really see the blocks aligning too well with this pick-and-pull guru stuff. Third down and eight, we try to run it outside with Chris Johnson, and that was just me trying to be a bit too greedy right there, trying to break contain and, you know, get that home run ball instead of, you know, just following your blocks and getting, like, a decent gain. I'm trying to get the gains of over 10 yards, so sometimes it might bite us in the butt as Eric Dickerson is brought down, and finally that knocks Eric Dickerson out the zone, so now we can play a normal game. Like, it's a hell game until you knock Eric Dickerson out the zone in Madden 20 but then once you do that you got Andrew Luck with dashing dead eye and escape artist so have fun with that third down and 14 we got him in a bind and down he goes Kevin Green off the edge and with 52 seconds left in the first half a mercy punt on fourth down and 21 and this will give us a chance to maybe grab the lead before the end of the first half and we haven't been playing too great so far but of course Johnson can break off one run all our wrongs are being righted and that they will Chris Johnson, see you later. That will put the Titans on top. And there it was. Chris Johnson just wait a second for those blocks, right? Just hold on a second. Don't hit that sprint button. Let's just see what's developing out here as Lawrence Taylor gets the sack. And then once you feel like you're accelerating and you're boxing line, that's it. GG's in the chat. Chris Johnson's got you. Chris Johnson's over 100. 100 yards rushing before the end of the first half and now we are only one rush of over 10 yards away from getting first one free activated we are having splendid progress in this game now trying to win this game is a whole nother story since michael Irvin's going to make this catch and that will put the 49ers in field goal range on the final play of the first half justin tucker's on the field so you know that's going in even like even in madden man you can't expect justin tucker to miss so we got the game tied up 17-17, a wild first half. Hopefully we can calm things down in the second half. Chris Johnson nearly gone, but that will activate first one free for Chris Johnson. Nearly 150 rushing yards and looking for a whole lot more with his X-Factor activated. But we actually come out in five wide with first one free on Chris Johnson. Trying to hit him on a drag. Let's see what he can do, but unfortunately he's brought down by the first man. Chris Johnson needs to not be tackled for a loss. So that's a gain that will keep the X-Factor going second down. It's a pitch. Watch out. Here comes Devin White making the shoestring tackle. But the speed of Chris Johnson, he was just boxed up. But we were able to run away, go outside, cut it back in, and then make sure we still have this X-Factor for the third down and three run. Chris Johnson, goodbye. Goodbye. Johnson gone again with the X-Factor shredding the Niners. And one more time, the Titans are on top. Chris Johnson is putting on a dominant display today. At this point, you got to expect that he's pretty close to 200 yards rushing. And we are still in the third quarter. This can end up being from a dominant display to an epic display, depending on th how things play out in this one. Third down and six. Andrew Luck, no huddle, going for it. Quick pass underneath. But Troy Palomalu with secure tackle. We're able to bring down Eric Dickerson. Fourth down and five. No huddle once again. Andrew Luck looking to pass. And that is going to be swatted incomplete. Turnover on downs. Chris Johnson still has first one free on the pitch. Going outside. CJ 2K. Trying to break someone's ankles with this first one free. It's not quite happening. But really doesn't matter when Chris Johnson is as fast as he is. Second down counter run. And this this will end up being the counter to stopping Chris Johnson just running these counter runs they seem to not be working and that will knock Chris Johnson out of the zone but don't worry Chris Johnson is still really fast but third down and eight we got to give him a breeder Peyton Manning looking to pass looking for anyone here comes Joey Bosa continuing to just continue to wreck us man anytime I want to pass the ball Joey Bosa is like you better run that damn ball that's the only thing you're gonna be able to do while I'm on the field I'm like all right Joey like I don't mind running the ball but like come on man 
<laughs> that was more of a coverage sack, if you want to call it anything else, even though it was an incompletion. We had time. It's just that I couldn't find anyone on that play. So we end up kicking the field goal, make it a two-possession game, try to put ourselves in position to win this one since our opponent has proven that he could put points up on the board. And he has Eric Dickerson, and he has fantastic blocking, even though he doesn't know what to do with it and keeps on running into his own guys. As second down a forward play, action, Andrew Locke moving the pocket. Watch out. That's Ed Tall Jones. I'm surprised he didn't try to run away from that one. Third down and nine. Screen pass set up for Dickerson. Here's the blocks. One-on-one -on -one with Palomalu, who once again wins that battle against Eric Dickerson. No huddle from my opponent here. He's got to get some pep in his step. Last play of the third quarter. Locked down. Field. And Palomalu is there as well. Troy Palomalu is all over the field. Tackling Dickerson down. Up high making the interception as he tried to get Michael Irvin as Chris Johnson is brought down for a major loss. At this point, I think my opponent switched to a 4-6 defense. He was that pissed off that I was shredding him with Chris Johnson. Like, look at this. He's got eight people in the box, nine people in the box. And of course, I still ran the ball because at this point, I don't care. I'm just going to rush the ball and try to get as many rushing yards with Chris Johnson as I possibly can to the point where fourth down and 15. Yeah, we're going to run the ball with Chris Johnson. Let's see what can happen. Oh, spin move. First down, Chris Johnson. <laughs> Oh, man. Like, if there's any running back you would trust on fourth down in, like, 50, I suppose it's Chris Johnson. He nearly got the first down earlier, and he actually gets it this time. And my opponent quit the game. He's like, really? This dude got a fourth down in 15? I don't need to be in this game any longer. I don't need to be abused by Chris Johnson any longer. And you know what? I support his decision, even though I would have preferred him to stay in so we could continue to pad the stats and maybe somehow some way activate first one free one more time. Um, fine, I respect his decision. We'll just move on to one more game where we are going against Barry Sanders this time around. Doesn't start the game off with his X-Factor, but if he did, he would have lost it there since we stopped him in the backfield. Second down and 11, dumping down, but... That is going nowhere. In fact, he, uh, he, he gained two yards. Good for him. But third down and nine, nonetheless. Peyton Manning under pressure. Just gets it off. And that will be intercepted as we try to run it back. Doesn't really matter if we do or not because... If we don't, that means Chris Johnson takes the field, and we'll try to activate first one free again. I'm not sure we can. It's a pretty tough X-Factor to activate. I don't know how in the world we activated it in our first full game, but, you know, I'll just try to make some big runs with Chris Johnson at the very least. Third down and three, though, we are going to pass. Give Chris Johnson a bit of a breeder, put him in pass protection as Peyton Manning underneath the Tory Holt who actually makes the catch but does not get the first down. Fourth and one. Time to bring Chris Johnson back in the fold as we run the ball. Outside goes CJ2K. Once he gets the edge you're not going to get him. It was fine defense against most running backs but not against Chris Johnson. And keep in mind, I don't got Sprinter or Coach Madden or anything like that. So this is just, I don't even power up Chris Johnson. This is just 94 speed. Chris Johnson, fresh out of the box, fresh off the auction block, doing his thing as we actually go RPO to Randy Moss. And that actually was not a good decision because we lost yards. Second down and seven. Chris Johnson gets them back and gets the touchdown as well. Chris Johnson, once again, just... Doing this thing out here, man. Like, oh, what a hit from Pat Tillman. Chris Johnson may be vastly overpriced on the auction house in Madden 20, especially since they literally just did the NFL 100 promo for running backs. But uh, he's a lot of fun to use. I will say that. Uh, Chris Johnson is definitely as, you know, weird as it sounds. A running back I feel like I could do a lot of patient running with as that ball is deflected and intercepted by Dick Lane. And once again, we're riding the night train all the way to the end zone. Pick six once again for Dick Lane. And we got a 14-0 lead early in the second quarter. So, yeah, Chris Johnson, like, he's as good as any running back in this game. Like, I still feel like Eric Dickerson is the best just because of the X-Factor ability he still Starts the game off with as Michael Urban running away from the defense. There goes Urban stretching all the way to the end zone. And the Dolphins claw their way back into the game. One nice little in route from Michael Urban. I feel like my opponent must have the in and out route specialist. Because it looked like Urban just got a ton of separation there. As Chris Johnson nearly got the separation to go all the way. I believe that was Lawrence Taylor that might have. Just save a touchdown. Third down and four. We're going to run the ball with Chris Johnson. Why not? Follow your blocks, but don't go in the Pat Tillman. Then if we get the first down and hang on to the ball as we run it once again. Chris Johnson is so close to breaking these runs off. We have about 90 seconds left in the first half. Trying to let that pitch develop. Doesn't quite. Third down and three. And yes, 
We're going to run the ball again with Chris Johnson, who has had quite the heavy workload in this first half. 12 rushes, 62 yards. It's been a bit slow since that opening drive, but, you know, hopefully a play of rest can get Chris Johnson going as Peyton Manning going nowhere, throwing that ball away. Peyton Manning still doesn't have positive passing yards, and we're nearly at the end of the first half, but does it matter when Chris Johnson can run the ball like this? Down goes our first timeout, third down to three, and now we're running the ball. It's going to be a pitch. Oh, Johnson makes one man miss, but is wrapped up by Reggie White. This guy's really getting that Chris Johnson in the backfield, fourth down and two. Let's see if his defense can get a big stand here. Clock is running as we flip the formation, eventually get it snapped. Chris Johnson bursts up the middle and CJ 2k not only gets the first down but puts us in field goal range we run the ball again with Chris Johnson trying to go too far outside you know I am admittedly not the best runner in Madden 20 I'll be the first one to tell you guys that I, I suck at running the ball like not a Madden 20 just Madden in general like I'm not I prefer passing the ball so sometimes I'll do some really stupid things running the ball so um I will miss open lanes or something like that. I don't know. Run the ball is just not my thing. I just, you know, I'm trying to get gains of over 10 yards. And it's not quite happening right now. And we could have had that run right there at least or to run before the end of the first half. We'd be a lot closer. But nonetheless, we are halfway there. So we've got a chance at this one. We do start with ball in the second half. And Chris Johnson is now over the 100-yard mark. And look at this. Look at what my opponent's coming out here. Just like the last guy. He just says, screw it. I'm putting my whole team in the box. To stop Chris Johnson, because that is the only way I can figure out how to do this. Third down, he goes coverage defense. We're looking to pass. Manning double coverage. Watch out. That's definitely going to be intercepted. I believe that's his own night train lane with the interception. And I guess we'll call that a good punt, right? Like, um, Not a bad punt from Peyton Manning, even though he didn't use his legs. Still happens. Second down. Here comes Saquon Barkley. Can't get away from Pat Tillman, but does get the first down. And now my opponent probably feels a bit inspired about what I was doing. Even though he has his own Peyton Manning at quarterback, and anybody who has Peyton Manning at quarterback has won their X-Factors, you know they're trying to throw some dimes, but this guy just said, screw it, man. Like... This guy's running the ball so well. Let me try the same thing. And yeah, running the ball is really good at man 20. Good idea, bro. <laughs> Great game plan. First down, he comes out passing. Shane is sharp underneath, getting a good gain. And you know he's going to go back to the run, right? No way he passes the ball again. Yeah, he's trying to run that ball. Yeah, we're there with Troy Palomalu. Troy Palomalu is indeed everywhere. In case you were wondering why Troy Palomalu was around on every single passing and running play. Yes, my friend, Troy is everywhere. But... Man, oh man, it does not matter when Barry Sanders is toting that rock. Here we go. He's trying to go inside, but then two tall Jones with the shed. We're now in the fourth quarter. This man, he's got to get some pep in his step, but he runs the ball on third down and goes nowhere. Mean Joe Green wrapping up Barry Sanders. A super conservative play call for a man down 10 points. Now down seven thanks to the field goal, but you know, you'd like to get the first down in that scenario. Maybe that's that guy's best play. But then again, he is Peyton Manning. Like, I'm sure this guy has some dots in this game. Like, come on, man. Don't be so defeated because your run defense is actually doing pretty good right now. Stopping Chris Johnson, second down, pitch outside. But that did not stand the chance. Two, maybe three. Unblocked Miami Dolphins, third and 14. He's got the whole team in the box. And I might have I might have held the stake a little bit too far down or something like that because... We were nearly gone. Fourth down and 15. Yeah, let's run the ball. Why not? Well, this might be why. I know what you're wondering. Why the hell is he not punting the ball? Seven point lead. Well, I just want to run the ball, Chris Johnson. All right. Like, so be it if we give up a touchdown here. Like, it's not really, like, it's all good with me. I'm trying to run the ball, with Chris Johnson. I'm not, you know, I. I don't, I'm not going to win any game, any money from winning this game or anything like that. It's nothing I get from winning this game. I'm trying to tote that rock with Chris Johnson right now. Unfortunately, our decision might indeed actually cost us the game because Barry Sanders is toting that rock. He's scoring the touchdown. The game is now tied with the PAT, 2-0-1 remaining, but this puts Chris Johnson on the big stage. Let's see if CJ2K can win us the game. Now, my opponent has been absolutely stacking the box, so we might have to pass the ball a couple of times or maybe just pass the ball for this drive, but... Chris Johnson is a threat in the passing game, so we can try to find Chris Johnson that way. At the same time, though, I still want to try to activate first one free one more time, so we're still going to try to get some runs in with Chris Johnson. There we went with the RPO bubble. Did not quite work out for us. Second down, Chris Johnson up the middle. First down, close to it. I believe that's a gain of over 10 yards, so that puts us one away from first one free. It is third down in inches. Chris Johnson will move the chains under a minute to go. All we need to do is get into field goal range and... Maybe activate first one free in the process. You know we're running the ball up the middle. And now you see, now that we 
pass the ball a couple of times, he's starting to come out with some more pass coverage defenses, and that's allowing us to get great open rushing lanes for Chris Johnson, but there he's able to contain, bring up a third down and three. Clock is ticking, only 22 seconds left. Now 21 as we just get the snap off. Chris Johnson extending that is close, but once again, it's inches. This time, fourth down and inches, and we are going for it as we call the timeout. You know we're giving the ball to Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson's got the first and all the way to the 35-yard line. That should put us in field goal range. Unfortunately, that was not a gain of over 10 yards, but... I suppose somewhat importantly, right? You know, we put ourselves in position to win the game as my opponent calls a timeout. I'm going to see if I can get one more run in with Chris Johnson. Just a quick one, right? We can't burn up too much time as Johnson is met in the backfield by Lawrence Taylor. And I hope we did not knock ourselves out of field goal range doing that. I have a feeling we might have as we kick it for the win. And it is thankfully still good. Oh, just good. We almost bottled that situation and sent the game to OT, but thankfully on the back of CJ2K, we do score the victory. I hope you guys leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this Chris Johnson action. CJ2K is definitely a force to be reckoned with in Madden 20. You might not see him too often because of his price, but just know when you're going against Chris Johnson, you got your hands full, right? Because he's very very fast especially if your opponent puts like sprinter or something like on that on um, just know you got your hands full for that game <laughs> so leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed the action subscribe for more man 20 gameplays and i will catch you guys next time thank you as always for watching